These days the variety of succulents available to buy is vast. The choice of color, shape or size is incredible. The popularity of these plants has also skyrocketed in recent years and they seem to be everywhere. My local supermarket, homewares and clothing store now regularly sell a selection of potted succulents. Some of the succulents I see being sold at these traditionally non-plant stores look really nice, but many have health issues that could result in the plant dying. And so the purpose of this video is to identify what healthy succulents should roughly look like and what are the signs of succulents that are not that healthy. This can help with improving on your own plants, but also when shopping for succulents. Succulents come in quite a few shapes. Some grow low rosettes, others can grow rosette trees, small shrubs, and you can even have hanging small pearls. Because succulents come in all shapes, it can be difficult to say what the perfect shape is. But in general, the leaves should not be spaced out too much, look a bit too long and big, and they should not pull the whole plant to the ground. The first thing to look out for is nice compact growth. These Echoviria runioni are a good example and look just like they should. What you don't want is leggy stretched out growth. The Echoviria bluebird on the left is ideal while the one on the right is not looking very well. When succulents stretch out like this it means they're looking for light because they're currently not getting enough. Succulents that don't get enough light are more prone to fungal disease like rot and can eventually die. Also, if a succulent that has been grown in shade for too long is placed in direct sun, it can get sunburned easily. Some succulents such as this Grapto Petulum purple the light grow tall naturally, but overall they look compact enough. I'm so extremely proud of all the Echoviria in this frame. I grew all of them from scratch and they could not look healthier. Their leaves are pretty much perfect. There is no marks on any of the leaves which means they are likely to be disease and pest free and are generally happy. But before you think I'm singing my own praises a bit, let me show you a couple of my other plants that I'm not that proud of. First up is Echoviria suyon, a hybrid out of Korea that is really gorgeous and colorful but also quite prone to fungal diseases. It's got all these marks because I left it growing outside during rainy and humid weather which it really dislikes. And same with this Echoviria hybrid. These guys really need to grow in a greenhouse that has good ventilation created by fans. The fungus can be treated but you need to do it regularly and control the watering. While the plants are unlikely to completely die, they will get a bit worse and just won't look nice. When you're buying succulents, go for the ones with least dark markings. It should eliminate those prone to fungal disease. If you find some on your plants, make sure to treat with fungicide and keep the plant on the dry side. Having said that, spots don't always equal fungal disease and appear due to damage to the skin caused by rubbing or pest bites. It is very hard to have completely spotless succulents, but when you see damage like with the suyon, that is definitely not healthy. Misshaped leaves are likely due to pest damage, in this case really subtle and caused by every succulent grower's nemesis, the mealybug. Mealybugs are a very hard to get rid of pest that knows how to hide and protect itself well. If you think you have mealybugs on your succulent, act as quick as you can, otherwise they are likely to spread like wildfire. Any uncharacteristically malformed leaves can mean health issues with a plant and should be investigated. You should definitely not buy plants with crooked leaves as it may mean whatever has caused them can still be present on the plant and can spread when you bring it home.
It is quite normal for healthy succulents to have some dry dead leaves at the bottom. As long as it is not extensive, a few dry leaves are usually nothing to worry about. But once you start seeing quite a few leaves drying out, going yellow and dying, you may have a problem. For example, this Echeveria glauca was part of an experiment I've done and has been indoors for about a month. Glauca is a sun lover and has really suffered being inside a house where the light is just not enough. This is the same glauca from another angle. It doesn't seem to look that bad yet, but it has eventually nearly died. But look at what a healthy glauca looks like in comparison. Problematic drying leaves can happen for a few reasons. I do have another video on this topic tagged at the end. When it comes to succulents, mushy leaves usually mean too much water, humidity or fungal disease such as rot. Healthy succulents can have one or two mushy leaves when their leaves are pushing against growing offsets or when they get a bit too crowded, but they more often than not mean bad news. One mushy leaf can mean rot and can end up like this. If you're out and about buying plants and want to cover all bases, making sure you're getting a healthy succulent, you can have a quick glance at the roots. While this is not a 100% foolproof method, but if there is a big infestation of root mealybugs, you'll be able to see it this way. All of these plants seem to be in the clear. If you come across something like this, you may want to give the plant a miss. This is a fungus that feeds off that material in the potting mix. It's not necessarily a danger to the succulent, but in my experience, it can hinder healthy growth. The little white bits on the roots are what we really want to steer clear of. It can be hard to see here, but they are quite recognizable in real life. These are root mealybugs and they are a bad pest difficult to get rid of and fast spreading. They are all around these roots and look like white powdery spots. I've taken the pot off so we can have a closer look. Even Fluffy here knows this is bad news and wants to destroy the mealies immediately. Co fluffy. The thing with root mealy bugs is that sometimes the infested succulents can look pretty healthy on the outside. But sooner or later they can start affecting the health of the plant. To conclude, a healthy succulent should be compact enough, have minimal dark marks on the leaves, no deformed leaves, very few dry leaves, no mushy leaves and roots that should be clear of any fungus or mealybugs. And that's it for today. If you have any other ways of identifying healthy succulents I didn't mention in the video, please do tell us in the comments below. To learn more about succulents, you can subscribe to our channel or visit succulentgrowingtips.com. Thank you very much for watching.